I like that shirt, friend. I got one just like it. Yeah, I'm. Oh, hey, folks! Thursday night. Welcome aboard. It's <laughs> cacophony night. Thanks for joining us. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. If this is your first time, welcome aboard. You're in for about two hours of bizarre fun and the Steve. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D&D. Go ahead and join our Discord if you want to buy our cool crap like a Murder Hobo Con shirt or, you know, phone case or any of that bullshit. The link is down below so you can buy stuff there. Most importantly, if you want to be on a one shot like this Saturday, uh, we are doing Impossible Realities Convention, uh, 8 p.m. on Saturday. There are still seats available. Uh, hit us up, mhobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. We will get you on. Uh, don't forget, we also have the Tuesday talk show if you want to be on that. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, of course. If you're looking for some customized dice and you can really never have enough dice. Uh, check out on Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, let them know what you want. See what they can do for you. And of course, if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like success and glory. You can always pick up some adventure scents from oddfishgames.com. They have over 60 cents to go ahead and tempt your nasal passages, even if it is putrid sewers. I highly recommend getting that and pouring it into the air vents of somebody you do not like. Uh, disclaimer, that's my opinion, not the opinion of oddfishgames.com. They also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to be a writer like me, only gooder, uh, check out their Shine System to help you out. And they are feverishly working to get their Kickstarter How to RPG with Your Cat out to everybody, including myself, who went ahead and... Uh, offered up some dough. Uh, like I said earlier, tonight is cacophony. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who are going to make this happen, and then we'll recap it. David, you are up first. Who are you? Who do you play? Hi, I'm David. <laughs> I play Zadar in the cacophony <laughs> show campaign. So proper, we've given it so many titles. Um, yeah, I play Zadar, the arcane trickster. He, he, she, they whatever pronoun uh he uh they feel like um yeah that's what they are it's a changeling i also play uh i also play ingve on the calamity campaign as well as crow on the calamity b-side boys from and girl from toe town so <laughs> uh you can also find me on tuesday nights on between the roll and that's a me so. Very nice. Uh, next up, Carrie. Carrie, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, I play Camille. She's a halfling necromancer who likes cheese and coffee. And I don't know. At this point, I think she just wants to go home. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find a high-level magic user that can, you know, like someone that creates things that create like Camille the endless coffee mug. Yes, that would make that would oh that would be nice. She still oh, yeah. has her mug on her little carabiner at her waist. She could just pull it up, and I mean, all she has to do is start drinking. Oh and, man, that's yeah, a good it, idea. Yeah, it's a beverage. <laughs> Call out what she wants and blow over the top of it, and yeah, voila, well, voila. Uh, you guys are in Nathian, uh, the capital city of the gnomes, and home to the great library, the greatest collection of tomes in the western basin, the continent of Laurentis. Uh, these guys have been around here for almost two weeks. They have gone ahead and enlisted the assistance of a librarian named Phineas Ferb to try and locate some information on time travel devices. Uh, because their friend Mortimer J. Sneed, who was supposed to be uh, at, at the Grand Academy, is somehow made it to Nathian, but these guys haven't been able to find him. Uh, they found a lot of problems. They've actually resolved a few, including uh, helping Antonio Scarpacci at the Pizza Hut uh, save his business from some robbers. Uh, they are, they were actually framed uh, for a royal assassination attempt. So far, they are considered 
subjects at large, they were questioned. They were incarcerated because this is in America. These guys went to jail for a couple of days. Uh, so they are also trying to completely clear their name against the Aarakocra, especially one Blue Jay Aarakocra, uh, head of the guard, because Prince Kennedy was the victim in the assassination. These guys have finally wrestled around with a couple of clues, one of which is a hand crossbow with an R on it. Uh, the other is a gambling token from Monty's Casino. Uh, they have also come across somebody named Raleigh Espinoza, who uh, was arrested while these guys were putting on their hero capes. Uh, Raleigh and his girlfriend, Missy Pyle, apparently couldn't keep their hands off each other uh, angrily and are both in the Hooskow for domestic battery. Uh, these two were arrested by Colonel Clank, uh, a Warforged guardian uh, sent to keep an eye on these two to make sure that they are not, in fact, uh, royal assassins. Uh, we rejoin them as they wake up in their room uh, at the inn. I'm going to need constitution rolls from both of you. I know why, to see if we slept well because of our fucking neighbors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. I must have brought my magical uh, earbuds. You probably did. So let's see. <laughs> what is it? Constitution? Yep. Yeah, that's a big 11. Ooh, uh, bad news for Zadar. Uh, the entire night, your bed kept shaking because uh, the there wasn't was... enough pillow to put over my head. Not yeah. enough. Uh, the good news is Camille slept like a baby crapped herself twice and never hey. woke up. <laughs> uh, but Zadar, uh, you will be at minus one on all your rolls tonight because Aerosmith and Suki the Witch, your neighbors to the rear, uh, were pounding the midnight oil, as it were. You wake up with the sun gleaming in, keeping in mind that Camille spotted a shadowy figure last time. Uh, what would you guys like to do today? First, let's find out what the weather is. Over to you, Ollie. It's overcast. <laughs> so at uh, least it ain't raining. It ain't raining. Um, yeah, Zadar whips out his spell book, looks at spells that he's yet to learn, looks at Camille and says, don't you have like some kind of sanctum or tiny oh, hut? I do have that. I think I have Tiny Hut, so... Tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Breakfast, anyone? Of course. Yes. Of course. Uh, as you go downstairs, of course, this is the Hojos in Nathian, uh, mm -hmm. funded by Millie D's Nuts. This is Millie's place. Uh, as you go down, go down the stairs, go through the main lobby, give me perception checks. Perception. Let me try a new D20. Let's see. Oh, Ajax, excuse me. Uh, let's see. Uh, you said perception? 18. 13. Uh, Camille, you don't notice it. Uh, Zadar, Millie seems to be having a problem with her Warforged. Mm. Uh oh. She is tinkering with it. Oh. And it's just like, hey, good morning, Millie. Oh, good morning. How are you guys? Um, doing good. How's, how's the war forged? Oh, I, every once in a while, these things just kind of get a mind of their own. Uh, he just keeps repeating and twitching, uh, something about friends of yours. Oh, oh, well, we did have a problem last night with some friends of ours. <laughs> but... what, what kind of problem? And the, the amorous kind. They were knocking. Boots. All four of you? No, oh, no, no, God, no, no. no. Oh, okay. We could hear them through the wall. <laughs> oh, oh, well, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, I, I, I will see what I can do as soon as I get uh, my associate fixed. Uh, word on the street is uh, you guys uh, had a busy night. 
We did. Also, somebody was in our room looking for something. So we came back and it was it was tossed. Well, so, that's uh, that's going to be a problem. As soon as I get him fixed, I will question him and figure out what is going on. My deepest apologies. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give you uh, a room uh, the night on the house. Oh, very nice. Well, thank you. Thank you. Is it on the quiet side? Of <laughs> <laughs> no, she's just going to comp you. Oh, I thought she was going to Yeah, we're not going to get a different room. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm... I'm Riding this till the end. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, <laughs> is it already 12 against me? Okay. Um, let's see. One. Six. Uh, rumor has it something's coming in on the docks today, so you might want to keep an eye on that. Uh, All right. Deal, D12. Five. Two. Uh, same information to you. Hmm. Do we know what's coming in on the docks? Nope. Uh, Scuttlebutt has no idea what it is, but they say it's big. Hmm. It's an actual person named Scuttlebutt that came around and tells everybody everything. <laughs> With a large buttocks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think at some point we'll probably have to make our way down to the docks today. Okay. So. Well, go ahead. Do we want to try to go to Monty's? Uh, if it's a casino, it's open 24 hours. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> you guys are hungry, though. Oh, that's right. They don't so, have a buffet at the casino. I was going to say, <laughs> is there a buffet at the casino? They might. Uh, as we learned the other night, uh, the casino, Monty's Casino, is right about here. Uh, mm -hmm. And the Pizza Hut uh is the this area where the robbery was foiled ah okay oh well and you know the can bridge, only... yeah the bridge was where raleigh espinoza was taken into custody right right and we i believe we should have some questions for that individual too so well where to first um yeah, let's head to in the direction of the casino. Fair enough. Uh, you will pass by the Cabbage Patch. You will pass by the Bordello, where the assassination attempt occurred. <laughs> uh, back to Zadar, D12 against me. Hopefully nobody, if we pass the lounge, recognizes us. Five. Nine. Uh, no one is hanging out of the windows at the lounge, so you are okay. I keep imagining it's like Bourbon Street, man. There's the, this club on Bourbon Street with the uh, uh, trapeze, and you just see the yep. legs just coming out. Of the, <laughs> that's what I imagine. Yep. Sorry. Oh, man. Uh, as you head towards uh, Monte Casino, uh, you are stopped by an individual that you know as Lycor Sin, pending girlfriend to your librarian associate. Uh, she points out that Phineas Ferb has been looking for you, and he might have some information. However, he is stuck in the library at this time. Oh, oh, okay. And... Does she know when he'll get out? Lunch. Always okay. lunch. Uh, we'll tell her that we'll we'll meet him for lunch at Tony's. Tony's Pizza. Lunch is on us. Wow, you're gonna you're gonna <laughs> melt that cow. Uh, Antonio Scarpacci is not gonna be a happy man. Uh, We're just gonna order a large pizza. I mean, I I don't eat much, so there we go. She she will pass the information along. Uh, okay. As you wander by, you also see the alderman. Uh, his name is Jaime Ross. Uh, he congratulates you on a job well done. You guys have met him before. Uh, he is aloof but good-hearted. Uh, and finally, as you uh, go past the Pizza Hut, you see your good friend, Deacon Jones, the cleric. He scoffs at you and says, 
I understand you got lucky last night. Yeah, in more ways than one. <laughs> uh, the town is alive <laughs> with a variety of people. Uh, everybody perception check for me, please. 17. Oh, uh, perception, uh, 14. Uh, the order of pick uh, is spotted by uh, Camille. These guys again. They do not see you. Psst, it's the order of pick again. They uh, seem to be interviewing an individual rather intensely. Hmm. Continue well, on to Monty's Casino. Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll do it kind of, I guess, what surreptitiously would be the term. Yeah. Sneaky. Sneaky yeah. like. Uh, you approach uh, Monty's Casino and notice there is a sign in the door. The sign says, closed till noon. Uh, there, there, is a, there is a window. Can we see anything in the window? Give me a perception check. 14. Zadar, are you going to look? Yeah, but you said they're closed, right? The Correct. casino? Yeah. Which, uh, that's what stunned me. That's why I took a minute. Uh, okay, uh, 15. Uh, Zadar, you hunch down because you're taller than Camille. Camille, you stand up on your tiptoes and you both look into the window. You notice there uh, appears to be some individuals dressed in white linen mopping up a rather copious amount of blood from the floor. Uh, there are two warforged inside, um, neither of which you recognize, uh, and they are overseeing the issue. Is uh, our escort with us, Colonel Clank? You hear the colonel behind you, uh, and he uh, addresses you and points out that there was there there was there was a there was a crime here last night. You are not you are not suspects. So are all the Warforged having issues? Oh no, you've only seen two. Hmm. Well, there's two others inside. There's the one and that was over at Millie's and now Colonel Clank. Did it so, rain last night? Did they get left out in the rain? Uh perception. Eight. Horrible rolls. Yeah. Uh thirteen. Uh you both uh, ponder what's wrong with Colonel Clank. Uh, I don't know. You don't know what Warforged are. These are the first ones you've met. What do you want to do? Um, well, it's a release that we're not suspects. Uh. So that is refreshing. Uh, so <laughs> that's Colonel Clank shaking his head. Yes, Colonel Clank seems to have developed a tick. Wow. Well, I guess we could head to the docks. Or should we go back to the Justice Center to have them take a look at Colonel Clank? That might be a uh, good idea. We I'm don't want to do something concerned. and be accused of sabotaging exactly. Colonel. Yeah, yeah. The door flies open and one of the gnomes in the white attire, CSI, Nathan, uh, charges forward. I need both of you to make dexterity rolls to avoid being get to avoid getting knocked over. <laughs> uh, uh, twenty-one. Fifteen. Plot uh, minus one. <laughs> so fourteen. 40. 14 is still good enough to dodge. You notice that the lady in white is also covered in blood, screaming bloody murders, thereby garner garnering the attention of all the citizens out there. A moment later, a war forged holding a machete dripping in blood races out and begins to clank, 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 Terminator towards her. Well, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Uh, uh, Colonel Clank. Clank is not picking. intervening, huh? Okay. 
I've never stopped a Warforged before. <laughs> uh, Camille Webb? You, you have a yes. Warforged chasing a gnome, and you hear screams inside the establishment. Uh, get, get them both. <laughs> inside and out? Oh, no. I mean, both the Warforged and the gnome. This oh, one. yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I cast Webb on them. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, both the Warforged and the Gnome are lashed together as you cover the street in thick sinewy webs. The Warforged uh, is trapped for the time being, uh, although they look rather buff. Sort of yeah. In investigate investigate mode investigate mode so this is that good <laughs> we need so. to like are there other warforged around or is there an authorita somewhere <laughs> there, there's one inside oh god okay i guess we go inside then uh uh there the other yeah. warforged is inside hacking at the bodies of the other dead gnomes in there CSI Nathan has openings. Uh, the Warforge looks up. Eh, eh, intruder, intruder. Okay. Roll okay. initiative. Oh, man. All right. Uh, 13. Uh, oh, man. Okay. Uh, let's see. 18. Seven. Uh, Zadar, you are up first. Okay. Uh, uh, that's 18 minus one, though, correct? Uh, yeah, 17 then. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Uh, yeah, let's see. Mm, yeah. I am. Oh, damn it. I got. Uh... I was hoping I could cast it on somebody else, but obviously I can't. Damn it. I was going to try to Misty Step the Gnome out of the web. Uh, the Gnome and the Warforged are outside in the web. Right, right. That's why I'm saying uh, I thought it was a ranged spell that I could, you know, as well as... Uh, anyway, who who knows what I was thinking. Anyway. You're, go you're going inside, aren't you? Yeah, we're going inside, but I was going to try to, like, misty step her out of the web. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. That's not how misty step works. No. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, we're inside. Warforged is looking at us. Has it, is it coming for us? Oh, yeah. It is coming for us. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, it is. All right. Um okay on that note yeah the proved critical on a 19 or 20. <laughs> is that what they have mm -hmm. thanks frank and they have an action surge <laughs> <laughs> the dark cat's mirror image fair enough uh camille i cast shocking grass or wait are they metal partly so I cast Shocking Grasp. Ooh, hit it. 13. You realize that's a touch spell, right? <laughs> what, what'd you roll? 13. How? Negative. What do you have to hit him with? 19. <laughs> uh, these are something that you have never experienced, and they are what you would call ass kickers. Uh, the Warforged is none too thrilled and will go after odd even. Murder hobo, even. Uh, Zadar, let's see if it hits you or if it hits a clone. Okay. Uh, 14 plus 6, dirty 20. Uh, let's see. Plus my dex modifier. It's 10 plus my dex modifier. So, yeah, I mean, you're going to hit one of the either the clone or me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because my dex modifier is 4, so that means 14 for the... Yeah, but, uh, but mirror image, mirror image is something else. 
Uh, man, I missed second edition. That's that's what I'm looking at right now. It it says that each duplicate is yeah, uh, its AC is ten plus your Dex modifier. So, if you have three duplicates, I must roll a six or higher to change the targets to a duplicate. So, uh, you got a what? Uh, I have to roll or you have to roll? I was just saying what the AC for it was is 14. Kyle always makes me roll. Uh, and that's going to be too high because I know I have to roll low. One of your duplicates has been destroyed uh, okay. with a smash from the mach machete. Uh, <laughs> round two, you can hear screaming <laughs> out front uh from a variety of sources including the townspeople uh you can also hear colonel clank uh walking away oh from boy. you oh, <clears throat> okay uh, round two what do you want to do uh yeah hmm. <laughs> all right uh for Zadar, uh, magic missiles, uh, three darts. So. Sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, four. Uh, uh, 10 points, uh, force damage. Nice. A four, a four, and a two. So. Camille, you're up. Uh, I guess I'll try Shocking Grasp again. Sure. You hit him, you're going to do double damage. Fuck. Okay, I didn't hit him. Uh, odd even. That's a four, going after Zadar again. Uh, with a two, he's going to miss everything. Apparently, uh, he got banished a lot. Uh, the screaming seems to be intensifying outside. It is a cacophony. Of noise. Oh, oh yes. no. Oh, uh, no. Go ahead, Zadar. Round three. Uh, yeah. Round three. And... Okay. <laughs> I am going to have to uh, cast uh, Chromatic Orb at the okay. Warforge. Uh, the element I'm going to pick, uh, the damage is going to be frost. OK. OK. Uh, you have to hit me, though, correct? Right. I do have to hit you. Uh, oh, <laughs> I was looking at the dice. I thought, oh, that's 20. No, it's uh, 8 plus whatever. It's 15. Does a 15 hit? Do it does not. No. Camille. <clears throat> All right, well, I'll try magic missile. Sure. Um, Upcast or just go with a normal three? Uh, just uh, normal three. Okay. 44 plus three. I'm sorry, 3d4 plus three. Uh, six. <laughs> <laughs> intruder, intruder, intruder. Oh, boy. Uh, even. Six murder hobo again. Uh, 12 plus six is going to be 18. My roll is not 20. I connect with you this time. Uh, and it's going to hurt a lot. Uh, Camille or me? You. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, five plus four is nine hit points as Machete finds its mark. What did he roll to hit me again? He rolled a nat 20. Oh, nat 20. Okay. Can I uh, uncanny dodge that a little bit to have it? <laughs> not a nat 20, you can't. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Remember, I love he that has 20s, a, just not against me. <laughs> yeah. He has improved critical, 19 or 20. Son Either of a bitch. Those ain't going to work. So how many points again? Uh, nine. Five plus nine. four. Okay. Oh. Round four. Holy shit, this fight is dragging on, boys and girls. 
Sounds of melee are outside. Oh, shit. No, oh, this isn't good. Okay. All right, and it's my turn again, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, how far is Camille from me? <laughs> you guys are standing next to each other. Okay. Uh, can you grapple as a bonus action? As a bonus action? Yeah, like if I scoop Camille up with what I'm doing, gonna about to do, <laughs> will that will that Are you gonna work? catapult her at him? <laughs> no, I was gonna, I was gonna. I was gonna try. Throwing. I was gonna try to do Trinity from the Matrix, man. Just grab her and just start running up the walls over this guy, <laughs> or uh, away, or something. You can, however, your hands will be full, and her hands will be held because you're holding her. I right. will get to attack at advantage. Well, that's no, just yeah. bullshit. That's just bullshit. But okay. Uh, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right. So uh, Camille, I, he grabs you like the football. Yeah, boom. <laughs> and I am running up the walls to avoid the, the you know, matrix running. Sure. To get around the Warforged. <laughs> you know you're in a gnome casino, right? Oh. <laughs> but isn't it, wasn't it? Built to accommodate, uh, you know, regular humans in, in other races? Yeah, 10 feet ceilings. Oh, shit. Okay, <laughs> I'm thinking it's like a real casino, man, where I'm like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> sure. Uh, Camille, do you have anything that only requires speech? Uh, uh. Uh, I'm sure you do have something. I don't know what that would be. Uh, is magic uh, missiles just speech, or is it? Uh, I think it's somatic. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Uh, I'm trying to look at the tags for it. Uh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, all right, come on. You would think D&D Beyond would have the tags listed. Somatic, right verbal and somatic. So you verbal? Can't use, uh, oh, Oh, and it's not either. Huh? Okay. That's we need to get Warcaster, Camille. <laughs> what's, your, what's your other favorite one? Thunder Wave? I've got Thunder Wave, Pulse Wave, Shocking Pulse, Grasp. Pulse Wave, Pulse Wave, Pulse Wave. <laughs> no, verbal Sonic. Uh, okay. I don't think I have anything. Uh, you can go ahead and touch. Yeah, you can reach out and try to touch him with shock sure. and grass as I'm running over him. <laughs> the hell? Give it a shot. Oops. Uh, yeah, verbal and semonic on Thunder Wave as well. Nope, 14. Uh, <laughs> intruder, intruder, intruder. Ooh, odd. We're going to go for the girl. Oh, no. At advantage. Nine, two. Does a 15 hit you? Uh, Zadar or Camille? Camille. Uh, I, yeah. I, oh, really? Oh. Yeah. That hasn't cast Mage Armor. Uh, four plus four, eight damage as Machete cuts through. So you don't get advantage because I, I'm I actually say, running with her? Like add my my dex to her her armor class uh, modifier to her armor class or something. You're going up and over. <laughs> if okay. you were running away, maybe, but you're going up and over. Okay. So uh, round five, uh, the din outside seems to have lessened. Okay. Oh dear, oh. someone's dead. Yeah. Uh, so how far away am I from uh, the Terminator <laughs> coming after us? You're behind him, and he's twirling around. Oh, intruder, God. intruder, intruder. Oh, this is not going like I thought. Um. Okay. So if he's, is he behind us or in front of us? We're behind him. You're behind him. Okay. I was, I, I thought he was like blocking our way and I was like running past him to get out of the door. That's what I imagined 
that I was doing, but I guess I'm wrong. You're trying to escape because you said go up and over him. Right. I thought he was blocking us from the door. Mm -mm. Okay. You guys uh, walked in the door and he's right there. Oh, okay. How many pounds does Camille weigh? Uh, 40, 30, something like that. 43. 43? I'm three okay. feet tall. <laughs> And unfortunately, I'm going to need both hands to hold you. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. With that, expeditious retreat. So you're going to go back up and over? Uh, well, I'm continuing. I, I haven't changed my direction. Oh, so you're going deeper into the casino. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Constitution check, please. Okay, Constitution check. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Constitution is. Bah, bah, bah. Uh, that is gonna be uh, yeah, you know, whopping fifteen. Uh, yeah, you really should have had breakfast because without your Wheaties. You're starting to pale down here. Uh, okay. Camille, you can tell that uh, either Zadar is not as strong as she, he, it thought she, he, it was, or you're heavy. So what do you want to do? You can if you have for breakfast. <laughs> you can break free from him and do your thing. Yeah, it's, a, it's up to you. If you want to bail, you can. At this point, you're behind him. If you use Pulse Wave or Thunder Wave, you're sending them out the door. Yeah, let's do yes. that. <laughs> Which one? I'm looking. Let's see. Pulse wave stronger. Cube versus. Yeah, pulse wave is a third. Mm -hmm. Third level spell and powerful. You're gonna fuck up that casino. Hey, I think at. The... I think they're insured. <laughs> sure, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, I need to make a con save. Ooh, that is a three. Okay. <laughs> uh, six D six. Yes. We're gonna blow out the front of the casino. Right. <laughs> yeah, because it's a thirty foot cone. Six. Yeah. Uh, so that's 12 for the first three. And, and 12 for the second three. Uh, so 31. 24. 12 and 12. Oh, uh, 24? Mm -hmm. Good enough. Uh, your Thank pulse God. wave shatters the Warforged. The head rolls out of the doors first. The doors get blown off uh, but the warforged is pushed through and you can tell that the web is in tatters colonel clank is on top of the other warforged the gnome csi is nowhere to be found in a growing no, I, crowd of and there's no blood there right <laughs> well just the blood that she came out of okay but yeah blown up the warforged did not have blood uh as you emerge <laughs> out of the wreckage that was Monty's Casino, uh, you notice that Colonel Clank appears to be on your side, but is malfunctioning. effective. Uh, both of you give me perception checks. Twelve. Uh, perception... That is, uh, yeah, 15 plus 8, so, yeah. <laughs> you notice that Colonel Clank puts his finger through the back of the other Warforged head, uh, essentially killing him, it appears, uh, and he... Uh, Colonel Clank, while on the ground, uh, continues to move. The spectators have formed a ring, they're, they've got the gnome, the bloody CSI gnome. Uh, terror has filled the streets. Uh, but you guys emerge like fucking superheroes out of the doors 
Uh, do we have can... flames behind us? Do we do the slow walk? <laughs> you know, <laughs> all of the poker chips and cards. Yeah, the poker chips are still the <laughs> slow mo, like Sherlock <laughs> <right>. Holmes. <laughs> uh, and you can kick the other warforged head over. Uh, Colonel Clank appears to have won his battle, but he appears to be not Colonel Clank right now. What do you want to do? Uh, we need to get some authority here. <laughs> yeah. Bells yeah. begin to ring in the city say. <laughs> everywhere. Okay. Every. Where? <laughs> All right. Who's coming? <laughs> the universe. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, gonna check the colonel again. Take. 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 Take him. He's, he's caught in a loop. Okay. All right. Uh. As you guys approach him, the people are like, he's crazy! Don't touch him! Kill him now! Hey, don't talk about our Warforged like that, you <laughs> I was, bitch! I was about to say, he took out the other one, so... <laughs> he's got some sense left. <laughs> so, let's let's try to get Colonel somewhere safe. <laughs> uh, there are several wagons in the region, because... Uh, Woodcutters and general merchants have wagons there. So if you want to grab one of those, if you want to commandeer one of those, we'll commandeer. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll send an, I'll give them uh, twelve okay. gold pieces for for the cart and and that and get the colonel on and go. Roll a straight up d twenty. Okay. We're gonna be in so much trouble. Sixteen. It's a good cart. Uh, you're going to need some help lifting Colonel Clank on there. And do you want to take the other one, too? I mean, the uh, one that Camille blasted in pieces, so fuck that guy. Uh, but the one that Colonel Clank is on top of seems to be okay. That'd probably be a good idea. It'd be intact, yeah. yeah. Will Mage Hand lift all those? No. <laughs> no, no. no but pounds. the Colonel, oh. is he functioning enough to where he could lift the other Warforged? D12 against me. Okay. Come on, Colonel, you can do it. Nine. Uh, nine. Reroll. Ten. Uh, six. <laughs> no, but he can lift himself up and he, yeah. he understood, understood, okay. understood. We'll get him on there. Um, and he he kind of leans in. Uh, there are people around. They are dubious. Uh, Boy, some of you uh, big people help put this help us put this big asshole in the actually. Thing. <laughs> uh, if I'm holding on to something and cast Misty Step, will it go with me? Not that much weight. God damn it! <laughs> I'm uh, grasping at straws here. <laughs> you, you know what, Camille? You haven't rolled D12 against me in a while. D12. One. One. <laughs> Reroll. Two. Seven. Uh, you do not see any friendly faces here. Oh, man. I'm trying to think. Uh, well, I guess you could take them somewhere and I can stay with the other one. There, there are people around you're going to have to either intimidate or persuade. Um, ugh. I say pretty please look how short I am. There's no way I can get this guy up there. Persuasion. Oh, I better pick a different die for that. <laughs> Since it hasn't been working. Ooh, 20. Uh, you guys are regarded as heroes. I mean, you know, you came out of a superhero movie. You guys are the rock and Kevin Hart at this point. <laughs> nice. uh, but yeah, the crowd gathers around and they want this piece of filth off the streets. So everybody will help you with the 20. Uh, okay. they, they will lift you, and there you go. Uh, it has one burrow uh, mm -hmm. that is moving it. Uh, Just as long as we can go. <laughs> yeah, uh, it'll okay. go. Uh, where do you want to take them? Uh, to, to the Halls of Justice. Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice. Does that mean we have to see the Eric Cocker again? 
I miss um, that guy. Like the, our chances of seeing him are probably good. So you guys are, or I'm sorry, you guys are headed right here. Okay, and we're um, at Monty's, so we're, uh, and you can't see where I'm pointing. The pink building, yeah. yeah you are here. Uh, you will get back out on the main drag. That's probably the easiest way, and go through. Uh, give me perception. Four. Uh, perception. Thirteen. Uh, you got... <laughs> Camille doesn't see jack shit. She's bringing up the rear with Burrow. Uh, Zadar, you notice two more malfunctioning Warforge. Uh, uh, but they are not attacking anyone. This is about the time when you get to the, the good bridge. There's something wrong with them. Right. So, Citizen. noting this. Citizen. Can we ask them to come with us to help? Citizen. Uh, persuade them. Mr. Warforge with a 19, <laughs> would you come and help us? <laughs> follow, follow the colonel. Follow the colonel. It's like we Cylons. should have said that. Yeah, follow colonel. Yeah. Uh, so you now have two clanking Warforge in the cart, two clanking Warforge outside of the cart. Yeah, they would recognize his designation yeah. as su a superior. So yeah, they would follow him. Wouldn't Correct. They? Yep. Okay. So right. She rolled a nineteen. So. Okay. Uh, you guys are headed to the Hall of Justice. Meanwhile, back in the Hall of Justice. So, uh, as you go, go so ahead. we got this this conga line going on right. <laughs> to the Hall of Justice. Uh, <laughs> you realize that as you cross the river. Um, there is a big hill here so uh the two warforge you will have to give them orders to push to help yeah. the burrow move it up uh as you get there give me investigation checks all right meanwhile bells are still going off all over the fucking town investigation uh 15 plus 7 22 for investigation Oh, I get a plus seven, plus uh, 21. Um, uh, both of you see Phineas Ferb among the other acolytes emerge. Phineas takes one look at you. Phineas, we need help. What <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> what, is it? what in Hades is going on? There's bells everywhere. All Warforges are malfunctioning. That is not possible. It's happening. Uh, yeah, just talk to the two guys right here. <laughs> Designation in class. Colonel. 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 The Warforge are malfunctioning. <laughs> really? Wow. You, you, you need to get them to the Hall of the Justice. <laughs> That's where we were headed. Do you want to help? You want to follow? <laughs> uh i will run ahead and secure the scene what scene the hall of justice there are other warforged in this town ah ah uh as you pass by uh the uh, library area and you start to get into the hall of justice area you notice several more warforged i say uh, hello warforged would you like to help your compatriots one of them is covered in blood. Uh, no. and there is a headless individual nearby. Oh, this is awful. Well, this we need a... to get him off the street, though. Uh, perception check. Oh, man. Eight. Oh, man. Okay, perception uh yeah uh 20. <laughs> uh zadar you hear wonk, 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 above you oh, Jesus. oh okay yeah i look up <laughs> uh there is a small dirigible uh covered in navy blue sails uh and it is starting to descend towards you as it does so you notice ropes are flung out of the side and gnomes uh, the airborne rangers have arrived 
and they surround your cart and tell, tell you to halt. Are any of them hot? You know, I'm short. I mean, they're short. They got their tactical gear exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> a three, a thirteen, a nine, an eight, a two, and the commander's a nat twenty. Ooh, okay. Nice. The others, the guys, others are so wearing the black masks. That's so right. that the SWAT masks. So. Ninjas. Yeah. <laughs> I fan myself. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we are so glad to see you guys. Stop Apparently, in the name of the law. Hey. Hey. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and you don't have Phineas Ferb to back you up. Uh, these guys are just hardcore. These are the expendies. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Not expendable. The bulls, expendies. Okay, before. well, I know how those go, so I... Pull down my top a little bit and oh yeah, <laughs> hike the girls up. Hike the girls up, and I say, the does does the same. Hello. Ah, like... <laughs> uh, they tell you to beware. There seems to be a malfunctioning issue with the warforge. Why? Yes, that's why we brought them here, breathy. <laughs> malfunction, malfunction. Uh, they look and they do recognize the colonel, and they're like. Dear me, is the colonel affected as well? He is. Uh, he's still functional, though. He was able to act as our guardian from the other malfunction. The balloon bringing him over uh, heads back towards dirigible farms, maybe to pick up more. Uh, who knows? Uh, but oh, they take the colonel. No. Oh, no, no. okay. The, the balloon blimp, just takes off. Yeah, the the balloon took off. Probably oh, okay, to go get more expendies. Okay. I lean over and I grab his arm. Oh, it's solid. <laughs> his bicep is wrecked. <laughs> oh, we, we didn't need to go there. But anyway. It's firm. Uh, he has his men circle up and they begin to help the burrow, actually pushing the burrow forward uh, as they push the cart towards the Hall of well, Justice. Thank goodness that poor burrow had a lot of work to do. As they reach the Hall of Justice, the Alderman that you saw not 20 minutes ago is there looking quite concerned, unlike his normal jovial self. Uh, as he comes out, Phineas Ferb is right there with him, trying to explain the situation. Uh, members of, they look like a guard unit, but like not a cool guard unit like uh, the Z team or something like that. Uh, clearly, uh, if they have to fight the Warforge, it will probably not go very well. Uh, the Colonel is now muttering something. Um, you aren't sure what it is. Phineas leans over, ah, uh, and motions for uh, the Expendies SEAL team cool uh to bring in the warforged uh they go over secure the one splattered in blood secure the other one uh take them in and uh they look at both of you and go thank you citizen we appreciate your assistance and they hut, 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 <laughs> off because the fucking bells are still ringing in town okay <laughs> There is a large problem here. You so guys they're are, secured. So right? they are secured. They are inside the Hall of Justice. Uh, you guys are not quite intimately familiar with this building, but you've been in there before. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, who, who's in charge here? Uh, so I don't say it like alderman. that. I say it like just. I, I say it like a dick. <laughs> No, I say it directly. Who the fuck's in charge of this bullshit city? <laughs> Jaime Ross is the alderman in charge. Normally aloof and good-hearted, but he's in shock right petrified. Now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, all hell's breaking loose. How can we help? <laughs> uh, go to where the bells are ringing. Where did the bells ring from? Everywhere. 
everywhere. Well, that doesn't help us. Let me ask you this. How many active warforged are in the city that are, I mean, do you know of? I mean, you're an alderman. You should have a uh, rough idea what the population is since they serve as your... Working? 12. 12? Okay, so... so They're warforged. They so, don't... so we destroyed one. <laughs> We've got two here. Got Colonel Clank. Two. You got Colonel Clank and his opponent yeah and you then, have the two that you found on the bridge following right. the colonel and then right. one covered in blood yeah and one other what about so, millie uh millie has a war forge it is not a it, it was a gift so millie's war forge doesn't uh, count does not count okay if Millie's still alive and it hasn't gone ape shit and ripped her head off and so we we secured seven, right? You have secured Basically. seven. Seven are accounted for. Okay, so uh, it's just like I I turned to Camille and it was just like I guess we better go hit those alarms then. Uh, oh wait a sure. minute! Hey, if sure. we do this, are you gonna pardon us for this shit? We we weren't charged with anything. Oh okay. Yeah. So yet can we cease being people of interest then? <laughs> All right, uh, let's just go. <laughs> this will be points in our favor. Let's just go. <laughs> so a hero's work is never done, Camille. <laughs> so we could go. <laughs> but on this side, necromancers river, don't want to be heroes. Uh, we're you, we're you totally can't hear bells. We're we're totally Thelma and Louise's. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, so so right now you are in this area. Uh, you can hear bells. I'm going to use stars. Uh, you can hear one there. 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 And you think over there. Okay. Uh, the, the bell up by the purple building up towards the top, that's by the Justice Center, isn't it? No, no, this that's is, not. This is the Justice Center. But there is a bell not far from the Justice Center at the Green Building. In the next block, correct. Uh, by the pawn shop, okay. Correct. All right. Uh, yeah, that's the closest one. So just following our, our senses, we're, we're going for the closest one, I guess. Uh, the expendies are currently taking down one. At that bell? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we probably don't need to worry about the expendies then. No, no. I checked the, check with the guys, wave at them, and then we're, we're moving. <laughs> uh, their commander dropped hard jaw. <laughs> he just, they, you, you just came up with that, that name. Right? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, he seems to have things well in hand. Uh, the, the wow. next belt is... We'll uh, see you later, Brock. <laughs> so <laughs> down by the church, uh, in an area you've never been to, and of course, right next to Millie's place. Uh yeah, it's the furthest out, but I mean I'm concerned about Millie. So actually it's pretty close because you've got this bridge right here. Okay. Uh yeah, let's let's head towards Millie because a bell is right there. That works. Sure. Uh, as you head down that way, and check my notes. You guys remember who your captain was? Captain? Yeah, uh, that brought you here. Oh, captain, yeah. my captain. Oh, oh uh, Delmonico or yeah, you know, whatever. That's right, Delmonico. Uh, who the fuck is he? Why? Why do not I not have him? I will assume you, you are we correct. Could, we could use a couple of those with the axes. <laughs> uh, fortunately for you, there are two there, uh, and he and his crew, along with members of the pick, are dealing some serious damage on these two one member of pick is down two minotaur are down oh oh well, my god good wait wait so who are they are they fighting each other 
No, they are fighting the Warforge. Oh, shit. Just one okay. of them? <clears throat> Two Warforge. Oh, okay. Okay. So they're so we're right there. We're seeing this. So you you are approaching. Okay. So yeah, uh, I guess as soon as we're close enough to take it in, whatever, I guess we'll join the frag. Initiative. Um, oh Lord, seven, eight, eight. <laughs> okay. Uh, the pick and the minotaurs are going to get first crack at these fuckers as you guys charge for i'm going to use the big dice uh none of them connect uh you guys are within spell range not melee range uh okay uh, i got 120 feet on me so i'm just going to launch uh three darts uh magic missile Okay. There are two Warforged up. Okay. Uh, at this distance, am I able to, to discern whether one is more damaged than the other? No. Okay. Uh, I'm okay. If they're left and right, two left, one right, then. Two to the Minotaur, one to the pick. The minute the warforged on the minute. Oh, I was gonna say no. I'm not attacking that. I was gonna be like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, oh God, these dice are hot. Uh, yeah, four, four, and two. So ten points. Split them up. What? Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. You got it, Camille. You're up. Uh, will Ray of Frost do anything to them? Sure. Eh, we'll give it a shot. Well, suck. Eleven. Okay, but not oh, a one. I was about <laughs> to say, please, God, not a one. <laughs> yeah, no, it was eleven. Uh, Captain Del Rio and one of the pick guys just took a beating. Uh, not a bad beating, though. Uh, enraged, the Minotaur goes ape shit. Oh, yeah, you can X. As does the pick. As does one of the other pick. And the other Minotaur fails. I hope it's not one of Daphne's lover. That would be sad. He's an Azamon. He's a, he's a tiefling. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Oh! Man, the order of pick is vicious. Uh, the order of pick uh literally knocks the can off uh the warforge's head uh and he goes down with a sparkling of electricity uh the other one the minotaur cuts in half uh and shatters him uh and he gives out bring me another uh roar uh, and i'm like Follow us. <laughs> oh, wait, no. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to the bell and not to Millie's first with this guy. We don't want him to attack Millie's Warforge unless she's in danger. <laughs> uh, the bell the bell is centrally located on one of the buildings, so you're in the plaza where it's happening. Oh, okay. All right. Give me a perception check. Okay. Uh. Perception is uh, 20, not natural. Uh, Camille got 17 plus whatever. Uh, you both know that the bells have stopped ringing. Uh, you also both hear womp, 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 womp. Uh, this time, only two uh, expendies drop out of the air the <laughs> oh the nomanity of them uh one male one female uh the female starts barking orders in a very commanding voice uh demanding to know what is going on here she's a little bit late to the game but uh the minotaur and the pick guys all have nick scratches and uh bruising going on uh they acquiesce to the sky raider uh who has appeared 
Oh, okay. Give, give me an investigation check, both of you. All right. <laughs> Ooh, that's twenty. Uh, you notice that one of the Warforged has a bolt in it. Oh, <laughs> like a hand crossbow, crossbow. bolt. Okay. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> you notice that you do not notice anybody holding a hand crossbow. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm looking around. Do I see a window open somewhere or? Investigation. Okay. Uh, investigation. All right. Uh, that would be 18. Uh, you notice a fat balding gnome uh, in a building on the second floor smiling until he notices that you see him and then he gets a look. Give me an insight check. Um, 14. That didn't look right at all. Because it, okay. was, it was... And he <laughs> disappears into the shadows. Oh, yeah. okay. Is this guy just a sniper? <laughs> Not, not, not a. Uh... You've never seen this individual before. Okay, all right. Uh, do I recognize the bolt? Does it look like the one that was that shot Kennedy? It does not. Yeah. Oh, it does not. Okay. This one uh, has uh, gold lines along it. Okay. Um, okay, that is kind of a relief, but not right. Uh, what are you two doing here? Uh, the female blurts out. She identifies herself as Lieutenant Hentai Tweed, and she demands to know what you're doing here and what is going on. Is we are we, we are giving assistance uh, at the direction of Brock. I want to know if she's cute. Brock Strongjaw or whatever his 16. name is. Rock. It's Rock, Rock Strongjaw. Hard, hard jaw. Hard jaw. Yeah, that's Brock right. Hard, hard jaw. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Beal kind of thing. He was probably sleeping when they decided to bail out of the fucking ship. Uh, yeah. She's got a 60s. She's, uh, she's very charismatic. I mean, she's not going to take any shit. She wants answers. She wants answers right now. I say, yeah. yeah, we were just there talking to Rock, whatever his name is, helping with these Warforged, so don't give me your attitude. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thank you, citizen. <laughs> And and I try to pacify a little bit, and it's just like we were in the first uh, attack at the casino, and we got the Warforge that we could to the Justice Center, and we were just heading to the Bells to help however we can. Thank you, citizen. You with the cart. You with the two horses, pick these guys up. Let's get them to the Justice Center. Uh, she starts barking orders like she owns the fucking place. Uh, she pretty much ignores you guys. She ignores the orders to pick. Uh, she ignores uh, Captain Del Rio. Uh, Captain Del Rio starts barking orders at his people to take care of the down Minotaur. Uh, the two uh, brothers of Pick, or one brother, one sister of Pick, go to help their fallen colleague as well uh captain del rio clearly was toe to toe with these fuckers because he's got a lot of nicks and scratches and he's getting a shiner in one eye uh he claps odd even odd uh camille give me a strength check oh, Lord. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh... Somebody's gonna get a shoving. <laughs> it's gonna get a love shove. Ugh. Oh, is that a minus one? That's a minus one. Shit. Uh, I get an eleven. Uh, almost knocks you off your feet, uh, but claps you on the back nicely. My friends, it is nice to see you. Well done. Thank you for helping us. We could have had these guys, but thank you anyway. How do you like the city? Uh, it's been it better. <laughs> 
It was great up until now. <laughs> it was great up until we were accused of killing someone. Damn. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> that does not surprise me. You people are trouble. <laughs> Seems to follow us. <laughs> uh, but I heard you say some kind of food service industry person. Oh, the pizza guy, yeah. Yes. Uh, Antonio Crappachi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring pizza on the ship when oh, we come. Oh man, Tony Shalhoub is just uh, uh, he, he's prob probably his ears are ringing right now. What one, one of the brothers of Pick walks up in the middle of a conversation and looks at the Minotaur with disdain and says, Scarpacci, you stupid bovine. What are you guys doing? We heard that you got arrested and we heard you're heroes. Okay. Have you seen, have you seen uh, Rosa lately? I turn around to the Pick and I say Pardon me. Are your people okay? May we help them? Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, we are tending to his wounds. He will be okay. Okay, then fuck off. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, He's highly opinionated. <laughs> uh, Captain Del Rio snorts uh, with derision at how you handled the brother's pick. Uh, whether or not whether or not pissing off the assassins are a good idea or not, be that as it may, uh, the brother... YOLO, you only live once. <laughs> ...goes over uh, and give me perception checks. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> That's a zero. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, 21. Uh, as... Camille is. Mm, 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 That's right. Mm. Jog on. <laughs> uh, Coming up with new ones. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping her pants, smacking her ass, playing up like a bongo. Woo! What do you want to do, Mr. Pick? I can see you. Do you want me to ask you a question? Uh, Zadar, you notice that Millie is doing this. Okay. <laughs> I tap the wheel, tap her out. It's just like Millie's asking for it. Sorry. I was overcome with the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, the pick organization is going to re up your John Wick. I, I was about to say, oh my Got God, her. they're going to be after us again. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> as, as he's as he's yanking you back, as you're like, you want some of this? Yeah, of this? Uh, I'm huh? carrying Camille huh? back. I'm like holding the back. <laughs> okay. Come on, bitch, throw down. Uh, you guys pull in. Uh, Lily says, I, "I I found something interesting." Um, what did you find? <laughs> she goes uh, over first the of all, are you okay? Because all the warforged in the city have gone nuts. I think I know why. Oh, okay. Uh, sh show us what you found. Uh, she brings you over to her warforged, who is sitting there just calm as can be, uh, and says, go ahead and release. Uh, the warforged <clears throat> clanks up, reaches back, and does something in the back of its head, uh, and you hear a latch pop open. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not familiar with Warforged, but is that supposed to happen? That's how they're controlled. Okay. Um, uh, the problem is this, and she reaches in and she pulls out a very small, round, green peridot, uh gemstone. Uh, she says, this is new. N new? Like not supposed to be there and suddenly appeared it is not supposed to be there at all why so would there it would, jewel there was make a difference there was a shadowy figure around here the other night last night i'm not sure i understand that you had the love making session with your friends no, uh, no prior, but I, we discovered oh. our room had been tossed so, so prior to the sex yeah prior yeah. to the sex yeah <laughs> 
we saw we saw the shadowy and well, Camille well. saw the shadowy individual and with our room being tossed and somebody must have came in here and so perhaps we take Millie and her were forged in the gym and go to the Hall of Justice. Okay. Uh, her war forged is functioning normally. Okay. So I asked her he was fine once she took the gem out? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Well, we should bring that up to whoever at the Hall of Justice then. So. Okay. Uh, the Minotaurs are going off drinking. The the order of pick people are like... <laughs> Pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zadar, your uh, unusual bald individual is nowhere to be found. Uh, and down, exiting the plaza, you can see what was her name? Hentai Tweed escorting the two uh, disheveled Warforged in the cart, similar to what you guys did, uh, headed up. Uh, there are no uh, bells going off, and the wah, 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 is doing the uh, sky circle. Uh, but it looks like they're out of commandos. Um, does Millie want to come with us to the Hall of Justice with the Warforged? Or no, does she go... she's not a big fan of the Hall of Justice. <laughs> Would you mind if we take the Peridot okay. with us and show sure. them at the Hall of Justice? Okay. Not a problem we'll do that. that. I'll take an evidence okay. bag, open it up, put it in. <laughs> Are you going to put the tank top on? Uh, the windbreaker. <laughs> uh, very nice. Uh, yeah, you guys head out there. Uh, Millie starts to question the Warforged as you leave, and you can tell that the Warforged has rebooted and is giving some kind of dissertation on everybody who has been at the inn. It's in like the... Blade Runner 2049 when Ryan Gosling's up there just repeating the phrases over and over again. Yeah. He is just going through the list. Uh, so Millie is working on that. You have the green peridot in hand. Uh, the brothers pick uh, are fine. And you see, uh, what is Phineas's dad's name? Uh, oh, I forgot. He's Hold Steve. Up, no. Was it Dieter? Colby? No. Huh? No, it's not Colby. It's not Roquefort. No, I don't think he was named after cheese. I think it was like, uh, I, what did it begin with? The D. Yes, Jaime. Yes. Oh, Dad, Covina. Covina. Uh, you see Covina approaching you guys, and he's like, <laughs> "Wow, today's kind of weird." A little. <laughs> Some Warforged went banana land over at the uh, bookbinder's place. All Warforged went banana land throughout yeah. the entire city. Uh, it was amazing that friend of yours, uh, who bears a small resemblance to me, kicked the shit out of it. Wait, Mortimer? Yeah, I think that's his name. Tall, good looking. How was he able to do that? He's sick. I don't know, but he found a cudgel and he went to town. He yelled out four and hit it square between the legs. He's pretty impressive. <laughs> wow. I well, just can't, he could always I, rally in a crisis. <clears throat> I, I cannot get over how good looking that guy is. <laughs> Keeping in mind that Phineas and Covina are both Look like him. <laughs> duplicates, only no Ah, uh, But yeah, uh, he was amazing. Uh, I, I told him you guys were looking for him. What do you say? He, just did... he made a hasty exit. Apparently, he was going to get more war forged. He knows we're looking for him. Yeah, he does. So he does now. Uh, well, uh, we're gonna. Um, yeah, uh, we're heading to the the justice center. Where Where are you headed? Oh, I was gonna get something at the cabbage patch. I'm hungry. Oh. All this excitement's got me famished. <laughs> I think I'll we meet would, my son. We would normally join you, but we got to head to the Hall of Justice. I think your son was there at the Hall of Justice. 
Oh, probably. He's a part-time investigator, you know. And I think he, I think we have some information that he would probably find important. So we best be on our way. Okay. Well, enjoy. I'm going to get me some uh, salad plate. Enjoy. <laughs> so me and Camille will take off. Okay. You guys head up there. Uh, Hente Tweed uh, and her entourage are slowly but surely making it up the hill. Uh, people are puzzled. It's like 9-11. Nobody knows what's going on. They aren't sure. They're a little bit on the scared side. They realize that their guardians are, are broken and something is wrong. And that is causing great concern. Uh, above you, womp, 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 uh, you notice a gnome yelling into a tube, which extends uh, the level of his voice, uh, stating that all is calm, all is at peace, relax, go about your business. All is well. All is well. Don't panic! Uh, his his name Kevin is probably Bacon. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> yeah. What they say in uh, Demolition Man? All is something, John Spartan. Oh, all is uh, be well, John yes. Spartan. Yeah, be well. Be well. Be well, um, John Spartan. Yeah. So, uh, as you guys head up there, Hentai uh, ushers the other wagon in along with her instituted help. Uh, and they go into the plaza where the Hall of Justice is. Uh, there is Phineas Ferb, puzzled, um, writing down copious amounts of notes. Okay. I say, Phineas. Phineas, what are you doing? My friends, I am puzzled with this. Why? I do not have an answer. Oh, Phineas, we... we we possibly have something. Camille? Go <laughs> no, go ahead. You sure? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. The place that we're staying has her own war forged. Uh, it started malfunctioning. Millie. Yes, but did not malfunction the way the others did. But she was able to service it. Uh, not that David way. Whoa! No, not, <laughs> that, not way. that way. Uh, you perv. Uh, anyway, the Warforged accessed uh, something through the back of its head and pulled out this paradox. And I hold it up for it. Millie said, that is new. That's never been there before. Well, let's go inside and investigate. And I said, Joe. Just a, a fact to note that somebody was around the hotel that night, a uh, shadowy figure. We couldn't see. Our, our room had been ransacked, too. So something's afoot. Something foul is afoot. A game is afoot, my friends. Let's go inside. <laughs> of course it is. Open that one up. Uh, you go inside, and unlike your previous visit, uh, you go into investigator quarters uh through the hall of records uh where well, that's nice a, for a change now there are a lot of male and female gnomes doing paperwork completely oblivious as to the destruction outside uh he leads you back through you meet the andes <laughs> nice fans of hot fuzz will get that joke mm -hmm. nobody else will uh they call you wankers and <laughs> as you get through uh, you are ushered into a small antechamber, uh, well lit by mirrors and oil lamps, uh, spread out on an altar-like area is Colonel Crank. Uh, he is still not good. Uh, there are individuals in white coats tending to him. They look like tinkers. Hello, hello. Um, hello. I tell the tinkers, uh... If you could get him, use the command release to release the hatch in his back, you may find something there that's not supposed to be there. Uh, one of them, an older individual, says, I don't need him to do this. He goes over, uh, pops open the latch on the back of the head, and he goes, Well, that's just rude. What am I looking for here? I uh, hold up a, a paradigm. And I said, a uh, war forged in a city, uh, never had one, and suddenly disappeared. Nothing here. That's odd. Okay. Would have thought that was connected, but. See for yourself. 
Um, I take a look. Do I recognize anything comparatively to the other Warforged? Uh, you're looking at the uh, flux capacitor inside there. You have no idea what's going on. I say on. we shake down the scientist. The guy trying to find the, the paradox? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, he was being dismissive of us. No, he did what you told him to. Yeah. Well, no, because we said, let him release the hatch. He's like, I don't need to do this. No. Yeah. No, he, he meant uh, the colonel was not in any condition to do that. I don't trust him. No, well, that's fine. You guys are watching him. Uh, uh, there, there are other Warforged, so you may check them all. Check, check them all. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? Get you a sandwich? Perhaps give you a foot massage? Both would be fine. If you uh, offer in, maybe we can talk later. Phineas <laughs> leans in and says, These are the guys who created the Warforged. I'm going to punch him in the throat if he doesn't, act, <laughs> doesn't you know. <clears throat> Just saying. Phineas uh, points out, well, perhaps it would be a good idea to go ahead and check the other Warforged that you've assembled. Perhaps one of them would have these stones. If I may ask a question, uh, the scientists are kind of peeved already because their fantastic creation has gone awry, and uh, that's going to be a problem. Uh, but they are ready to entertain questions. Uh, do you guys have any questions before Phineas asks his? I asked him, was the head of the Warforge that we pulse waved in front of the casino, and then anybody fund the head of that one also? Because we kind of kicked it on the way out. It has not been delivered. Okay. Some kids probably using it. Using it as make... soccer ball or something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Making soup in it or something. Uh... <clears throat> Camille, do you have any questions? No, I'm just irritated, as always. <laughs> I have no coffee, no teas. Well, there was some coffee over there. Well, that would have been nice to know. You didn't ask them. Just typical. They live on coffee. They don't have any cheese, though. <sighs> Phineas asks them, how exactly are the Warforged controlled? Uh, the assembled scientists kind of Come on, you assholes. Just say it. That information cannot be divulged at this time. Is uh, there... Camille, D12 against me. Three. Five. A voice behind you that you recognize as Jaime Ross, Alderman, says, perhaps that is a good question to answer. Uh... The scientists snap too. Apparently, your dismissive nature with Jaime Ross is probably problematic because this guy seems to be in charge of the town. Uh, he again issues the ultimatum that the question needs to be answered. Uh, the lead lunkhead uh, then points out that they are all programmed in the other room. But it is a secured room uh, and entrance is limited. But who does the programming? All of us. Uh, it is a collective organization. I, so one of you could be a problem. I put on the sexy nerd girl glasses and I'm just like, I got a question. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, how do they all communicate? I mean, if not verbally, are they linked somehow with arcane magic or something? Like commands get passed and stuff like that? I mean, they answer calls. They are. Like uh, it, it, we call it a hive. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Is there something possibly malfunctioning with the, I, I don't know, I guess you would call it the queen of the hive or something? You know, the AI that controls it? Uh, they huddle together, speak in hushed tones. Also, Hush. sexy nerd, nerd girl. <clears throat> right. 
Well, yeah, but you're they aren't yeah, sure if you're worth the climb or not. Uh, you know, maybe if Camille shows a little leg or you know points out she does wear underwear while she's fighting bugbears or something like that. Uh, <laughs> they discuss it, and the lead nerd. Uh, one moment, uh, he goes through a door. Uh, the others stand by, uh, wait, kind of murmuring to themselves. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to fix the printer. Maybe they reboot. Just put a printer on the desk. It'll be fine. Back it. <laughs> a, a few minutes later, Lead Lunkhead arrives with a green peridot uh-huh. in the hand. Because this was found in the hive itself. Well, that seems problematic. It does. Because we are the only ones allowed inside the hive. So which one of you did it? They'll point out that they've worked together for years. Other other than your core personnel, and does anybody else have access <laughs> to, to the No hive? one is allowed within the hive. Gotcha. Well, I suggest if, you, if you'd him. like, we we would allow Phineas Firm to go ahead and investigate. Uh, Phineas points out that uh, if he goes in, he's taking you two. Okay. So, we tell him. We tell him we got your back. Are there other warforged inside the hive? No, uh, the hive is more of a command center okay. or basement. Uh, D twelve against me is at all. Three. Seven. Grudgingly, uh, they go ahead and accept Phineas Ferb's proposal, but point out that your hands need to be in view at all times. Just had my nails done anyway. So. Okay. What happens uh, if I need to pee? Pee now. Uh, lead nerd uh, opens up the door and says, go ahead and follow me. Inside this room is a curtain. Okay, so you walk through the door and there's a curtain. And the great and powerful Oz is beyond it. Kind of. As you move the curtain to the side, it is a larger room, and in the center, there is a gem about the size of a small pony. Uh, it is misshapen. Uh, it is, it's got multiple facets, but it is not uh, a finished gemstone, uh, and it pulses with a golden light. Uh, it is held in place by brass prongs, uh, and then it's over like a bucket of some kind. But this thing is about two and a half feet across, maybe three feet high, kind of in a diamond shape, but it is a regular stone. Um, you've never seen anything like this. You don't know what to make of it, but you can actually feel the power pulsing from this item. Um, and he points out that I found the peridot in the receptacle area, the bucket. Uh, around the area is just a series of copper wiring, big, thick copper wire knob and tube looking shit uh and it goes around and you can tell that the power from the gem reverberates off this wiring harness uh and the harness goes all the way up into the ceiling um but it it it's not like it just opens up into the sky it goes somewhere up into the ceiling so I need investigation rules from both of you. Eighteen. Um, thirteen. Okay. Uh, Zadar, you notice the presence 
of small pebbles on the floor. Um, the floor itself was made of flagstone, uh, uniform flagstone. Uh, but the pebbles are kind of in the creases between two of the flagstones. As you look around, you notice that uh, the no, the 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 pebbles are wrong. Uh, Camille, you notice uh, just above this pulsing stone is a spider web that's been broken. Is there a spider? I mean, how big of a web? Are we talking just a small spider web that's been broken? Just, just a very couple strands. Okay. Uh, I'll point that out to Phineas. I say You see the rocks. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm pointing the rocks out to Phineas. Since this doesn't look right. Phineas whips out an item with a oval-shaped piece of glass. Makes his eye look huge. His <laughs> eye looks huge. He pulls it out and he starts to look around. He calls it his magnifier. He begins to look at it. And he picks up the stones, smells them. Something is amiss because he gives it to the top nerd and the top nerd's like, well, that's just not possible. So I tell him, I said, I, I see this web here is... Are you sure this room is <clears throat> secure? Well, uh, there's only a small shaft above that leads out into a vent system. Any shaft is, you know, not small. You hear her rumps from everybody. Her rump, her rump, except that guy. <laughs> I mean, uh, if there's any way to breach this room, anything could happen. Uh, the lead nerd seems puzzled because he sniffs the stones and nods his head. Phineas asks, where is the access to the roof? The roof. The roof. Uh, and the lead nerd. Uh, uh, you guys go through a series of narrow corridors uh, along with a spiral staircase that goes up. Phineas, the game is afoot, uh, leads the charge, goes hightailing it up, throws open the latch, and climbs up and out. Who wants to go up second? The dar. Okay. Camille, are you going to stay with the Harumphine guys or go up? Uh, yeah, I better go up. Uh, as the two of you breach the roof line, A, uh, you notice what appears to be, for lack of a better term, a spidering set of cylinders on top of the roof. The roof is also adorned in small stones that are held together with some kind of sticky adhesive. It, yeah, are those stones consistent with the ones that we found on the flagstone? They are indeed. Um, like I said, obviously somebody gained entry from up here. <laughs> Investigation check, both of you. Ooh, okay. Uh, 14. 26. Both of you notice a glinting item by one of the funnel legs of this spider looking thing. Essentially, it's a main shaft followed by several outcroppings. So it looks like a metal spider, but it's some kind of HVAC system. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, I point that out to Phineas and kind of he goes over and picks it up and he goes, it is a button. A button? A button. Huh. It's a brass button. And it has what appears to be two G's on it. Wow. Okay. And is, is there any organization or anything like that that, that uses that, that monogram? None that I am aware of. Okay, so there are two G's like opposite each other or something like that, like transposed and all that. 
hers is okay. like 2G coverage. Now, you also notice that nice. the intake tubes to this metal spider HVAC system are only about that big around. Large reduced spell could, yeah. A reduced spell, you say? That's yeah. clever. Very clever. Well done, Doctor. I mean, <laughs> Zadar. Well, uh, guess uh, the lead nerd. nerd comes up and he's like, clearly nobody can get into the system this way. Not without magical assistance. Magic is a dangerous profession. I believe in science. Well, some say they're both one and the same. A lot of twats say that. <laughs> Cunts. Cunts. Hey, I didn't say divine magic. I mean, some magic's I, actually scientific. I miss the Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of cunts name their sword. Oh, yeah. Um, I love that. <laughs> yeah. That was an uh, awesome line. <laughs> that was an awesome line. A lot of people name their swords. A lot of cunts. <laughs> um, so, uh, you have a brass button with transposed G's. Uh, a shaft that... Uh, Unless the, somebody the lead, got shrunk. That could the, be the, lead ner the lead nerd... Yeah, he's pretty adamant that nobody's getting through there, but uh, he will go ahead and accept the opinion of magic. Camille? Nope. Is there a, is there a directory <laughs> or, or some kind of census on like magic users in the city? Like known magic users? Uh, we are more science based than magic users. Uh, there are some in the library that uh, handle the arcane arts. Uh, Phineas looks over at you and goes, Okay, if not magic, okay, science. What about alchemy? Reduced oh, potions. We have a lot of alchemists in the city. Any of them named GG? Because alchemy can produce a gem. I, I I do not know of any. Uh, head nerd, uh, he doesn't know any either. Mm. Okay. And that, that, that's a straw to pull at. So, well, that's something that we can just kind of keep in the back of our minds. So, the head nerd is Martin Cove, by the way. Wow. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Wax on, wax, wax off. off. <laughs> the head of Cobra Kai. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, no, Cobra, uh, whatever from Dodgeball, right? Or are you talking about Cobra Kai? The Martin Cove was the leader of the Cobra Kai. The oh, Cobra. okay. Got it. Yeah. That's okay. his real name, Martin Cove. Got it. Okay. Yep. No. Yep. Got it. <laughs> yeah, laser and blazer and taser and whatever. Totally yeah. different. Although Missy Pyle was in Dodgeball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was the unibrow. Uh, <clears throat> so you guys are all on the roof. You have a brass button. Mm -hmm. Geez. Uh, clearly, Zadar has to be right if entry was made. Some kind of magic had to be used at this. Uh, Martin Cove looks at you and goes, well, I'm at a loss. It's, it's just going to have well, to I'm out of ideas. Yeah. <clears throat> what, well, what, what was that one from? Uh, it was well, Carl Weathers. Yeah, I, I can't oh, remember. Oh, The Mandalorian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Do that hand thing. That's right. That's all um, I got. <laughs> um yeah i i guess camille and i could follow up the magic user lead you know that i mean odd even odd camille's stomach growls unbelievably loud 
Well, hungry. It's been a while. We didn't hungry have breakfast. Girl? <laughs> yeah, it's damn near noon. And I'm guys, hangry. You, skip, you guys skip breakfast. That yeah. explains everything. <laughs> you, you guys need to go to Snickers. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Phineas points out that he will continue to ponder it, although that may take time away from his studies for your original request. Uh, if that's so, that- we're in the thick of this so whenever you get to it okay uh well hangry do you want to go eat yes (laughs) we didn't tell uh phineas wait who did we tell uh lunch at antonio's when we started the, the game tonight or somebody we met we said tell them oh it was phineas we were yeah, telling it, it tell phineas's phineas, girlfriend because pizza was on you yeah right. and i but say then... well, phineas do you want to oh, yeah. do you want to grab something to eat uh you, you got the message from your girlfriend right no yeah. oh oh yeah all hell broke loose <laughs> is she okay <laughs> i don't know well you you're the girlfriend? Of girlfriend Boyfriend. I, I, I have a female friend of mine. You've and met her. Who is that? That's what's her name? Loomis. Lycus. What? L- Lycus. Sin. And that's who we saw, right? No. Oh, how is she? And you haven't seen her today. Mm. Interesting. Probably killed by Warforged. Mm. I, well, that's why I was like, is she probably okay? getting boned by Mortimer? Yeah, uh, maybe not really his girlfriend. She wants to be the girlfriend. He is oblivious to it. Mm-hmm. So she's not really the girlfriend. Okay, so uh, what do you guys want to do? We, we're going to go and get something to eat. And Phineas is welcome to join us if if he'd like. Uh, he will accept your proposal. As you get down, you go through the series of narrow corridors. You end up in the examination room and you find Colonel Clank sitting upright. Oh, is he better? He is better. So how did they fix him? The stone has been removed from the hive. Yeah, the stone from the hive. Right. So, so it doesn't the necessarily only stone that was in the Warforge was in Millie's. Correct. Seems to be. Maybe well, me- me- maybe the shadowy figure was testing that on Millie's Warforged. And maybe Millie's Warforged was the one who trashed your room. That could be a... Yeah. Well, Just I asked ball. Colonel Clink, how are you feeling? I am much better. My apologies if I have hurt you. Not at all. I just, you I was worried about us. you. I appreciate your concern but I am operating satisfactorily. I am ready to resume my duties. I was going to ask, are you ready to resume your duties? Martin Cove points out that he would like to go ahead and maintain the colonel uh, for a little bit more time. Uh, And the door bursts open, followed by Brock Hardjaw. Uh, He has brought two more Warforged in. Uh, Yeah. He's disheveled, but his appearance is still sexy. Perfect. Still sexy as shit. Uh, his guys uh, look a little beat up. Uh, Does this out, account for all of the Warforged with the yes. one study part in? The tally is now 12. So uh, they are not sure if they are going to put out the second wave because there are more than 12 Warforged. Uh, but they point out that uh, Brock and his uh, band of merry expendies <laughs> uh, are, are going to have to perform menial guard work. Fortunately, in a, in a disaster, that's what happens. He points out that uh, he is going to request permission from the aldermen, wherever the fuck Jaime went, uh, to gain assistance in the form of you two heroes uh and that cudgel slinging bastardo uh who helped them being deputized okay you are being deputized 
Nice. Okay. Yeah, it's not like the first. This isn't the first time you guys have been deputized. Well, can we eat first? <laughs> Certainly. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it, she's hangry. So. So, are you guys gonna go to the pizza hut, or are you gonna go to the butt hut? What's the butt hut? The fish. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're gonna sushi hut with butt hut as the owner. Right, right. Uh, no, we're gonna go. Yeah, yeah. Pay our respects to Antonio. Sure, that'll work. Uh, so you guys head down the big road. Mm-hmm. Uh, people are thankful. You're running into a lot of people that, you know, saw what you guys did. You see one kid running around. I'm a war force. I'm a war force. <laughs> with, with a head on his shoulder uh, as he's banging into people. Uh, but you finally reach uh, Pizza Hut. Antonio Scarpacci. My friends, my friends. I have heard you were victorious. You are heroes. You are. I cannot believe. I want to have a sketch artist uh, hang pictures of you on my wall. By all means. <laughs> uh, he gets a guy with some kind of weird flat hat uh-huh. uh, and a cheesy looking mustache to come in. Uh, and as you guys eat your meal, he is sketching you. He's hey. going to make caricatures of you two uh, and then hang them on the wall. That's the good thing about Zadar. <laughs> Zadar can change change appearance at any time so well you know you're heroes so Mm -hmm. you know you're big ones big heroes um so he's going to do that for you uh yes pizza is on the house because you did save him from the robbery uh he would add the extra meat uh because you uh are meaty heroes uh is brock joining us for for lunch or is it just us just you guys and phineas Okay, all right. I didn't know. I was just about to say, yeah, if you're putting on the meat, yeah, Brock needs the protein. That's right. <laughs> Brock's got a protein whey shake or somewhere and <laughs> drinking that crap because he's on the paleo diet or whatever the hell he's Yeah, he's got, he's got a little beaker with a ball in it and <clears> shakes it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you guys have a nice meal. Phineas explains that uh, he forgot to tell you he thinks he's made headway on the time travel issue. Uh, but he's not certain. Uh, if he is correct, you guys are going to have to go to the east, which is the desert lands. Okay. <laughs> but he, he thinks that uh, might be suitable. Um, uh, for the cure to time sickness or just to deal with the medallion? Yes. Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, so to, to fix the time sickness and deal with the medallion. We're going to probably... have to take Mortimer with us is basically what it's looking like. Sure. I'll go with that. Uh, the rest of the afternoon is quiet. Uh, Brock Hardjaw will go ahead and request that you guys patrol. What area of town do you want to patrol? Um. D12 against me, Zadar. Peekaboo Lounge is close to uh, Millie's, right? Correct. Okay. 10. 12. Uh, he will offer you the opportunity to. Yes! Okay. That'll be awesome. Uh, you will be with Hentai Tweed. Uh, she is an experienced jumper. Uh, and she will be able to help you out because clearly you guys don't know what the fuck things are in town uh, aside from a handful of businesses. Uh, so after lunch, uh, Brock will find you. He will send you to Dirigible Farms uh, where you will talk with Zeppelin and Hentai and you guys will be up in the balloon uh, circling the city. Wah, 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 wah. Hopefully you two fuckers don't have to jump out because that's going to be a pretty high roll. <laughs> that's feather fall. So <laughs> well, then, then that might be good. Uh, you can arrive 10 minutes after 
Um, exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll be down there in, <laughs> in a few minutes. <laughs> uh, as you guys uh, are taking your first flight in the smaller dirigible, give me investigation checks. All right. 21. Uh, 18. Uh, you both notice that there is a pursuit uh, in the section of town in the north where you guys have not been. Uh, Don't tell me it's a crazy little man. Would you like to go in for a closer look? Yes. I have uh, my suspicions. It is a raven-haired woman being pursued by the Order of Pick. Oh, do I rec can I can I recognize the raven haired woman? Give me an insight check. Why would she be here? Ooh. Uh I don't know. Uh let's see sixteen plus you said insight? Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, eighteen. You're not one hundred percent positive, but that sure looks like Rosa. Yeah. Uh, she is escaping quite well, pushing things over, blocking the path of the monks. So far, the pair of monks, because the third one is laid up, uh, are not gaining on her. Uh, as she weaves her way through the crowded street, you guys have gone too low and you lose sight of her and the order of pick uh, as they go through a section that you are too low to see. And with that, we will end it because some people like to see that longer winded show uh, that starts in four minutes. So, right. David, what would you think? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I like the CSI stuff. That's pretty good. So, and, and getting your ass handed to you by the Warforge. Yeah, yeah, that that sucked. But I mean, it was one of those things. I didn't have the positional right on that attack, so. It's just like, yeah, that would have been cool if it would have went the way I thought it would. And then when you said you only got 10 foot ceilings, I was like, this is going to suck. I am so fucked is what I am. <laughs> uh, so Carrie, much for that Trinity run. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Carrie, what'd you think? I liked it. That was a lot of fun. Um, hmm. Yeah, that was good. Good. Uh, folks at home, we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Don't forget to uh, tune in in two weeks uh, to follow the continuing adventures of this pair. Uh, this Saturday, we are doing a one-shot with Impossible Realities. It's a convention. <clears throat> Seats are still available if you want. Uh, the price is nominal, uh, but you can hit us up, mhobo, Inc., Twitter, or Gmail. You can also follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Shoot the shit with us on Discord. Buy our crap. Don't forget Murder Hobo Con 2 comes up in February. Uh, don't forget if you need more dice, custom dice at Pirate Dog Dice. And of course, uh, make your game smell like ours. Success and joy uh, with oddfishgames.com and their Adventure Sense line. 60 plus cents. Uh, so check them out. Uh, Saturday is the one shot. I'm not sure if we're doing Margu this Sunday. So that's another opportunity to watch us. But you can always hit our archive, and if you've got a long commute, uh, you don't need to see the money makers. You can always go to our audio podcast over on Podbean. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we appreciate your time. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you later. Everybody, kiss and wave. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Uh -huh.